Hi guys, welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. We had a great question on one of our videos. Somebody was asking if we're using a transparent header, can we actually change the text color when it rolls over light and dark sections? Well, you can, but it does require a bit of heavy duty JavaScript and I've tried it out. The easiest solution that I would recommend is at the moment I got a transparent header if I start scrolling now, you'll see that a little gradient pops in. And so when it rolls over the lighter sections, you can still see the logo and all of our links nicely at the top here. And a dark section, it works fine, obviously. So I'll show you exactly how to do this. It's not difficult, but it is an awful lot easier than trying to do it all with JavaScript. So let's get started. Okay, well, I reset everything. What we need to do now is go down to our dashboard, down to appearance, and then customize, or you can go down to Divi, theme customizer. They'll both take you to this page here. The only thing that I haven't reset is my logo there. I've got a light colored logo, so it's not showing up particularly well here. And as you can see, we've got a white nav bar, which is the default here, with some gray little links up there. If I roll down, you'll see nothing's really happening. Now, what you've got to remember about this is when the nav bar's at the top like this, it's the primary menu. When we scroll down a little bit to about here, it's what they call fixed navigation. It's not the same bar we're looking at. To demonstrate that, if we go into header and navigation, so we've got our primary menu bar here and our fixed nav here. If we go into the primary menu now and take the color away from this, it'll automatically scoot the content up to the top. To take the color away, just roll down background color right here. And I'm going to leave the color where it is, but I'm going to drag the opacity slider all the way to the bottom. As you can see, that's now transparent. But I can't really see the link, so we need to change our active link color. That's white. And our text color. It's still up there, but it's dark gray, so you can't really see it. Let's make those white too. Take the opacity all the way out so they're nice and bright. Great. Now, when it rolls down, it's going back to our fixed nav settings, which have got dark gray color behind them. So I'm going to go in there. I'm going to turn those white as well. If we roll back up to the top, hit a little chevron by primary menu there. Here's our fixed nav. Don't need to change the background color. That's still transparent. But the link color. I'll make those white. That's better. They're staying white all the time, which is okay over dark sections like this. But when we get down to our light sections, you can't see your links at all. Let's make that active link color white as well. That'll turn that white active primary menu link color. We'll turn that one white too. Perfect. Great. So what we need to do is come up with a gradient for when it starts scrolling down the page. In other words, a gradient that we're going to put on the fixed navigation settings here. So to do that, let's create a gradient. Now, if you don't have any software that will do that for you, just Google CSS gradient. This is what it came up with me. And you can build your own gradient. I clicked on that first stop. I put a black in there. There was actually three stops. I got rid of the second stop, which was in the middle here. We were left with one on the bottom. And the bottom one, clicked on that one. Pull this opacity slider all the way down. It's a demoing it up the top for us. But I actually, it was sitting on the bottom. I pulled it up slightly. So we've got dark, transparent, and right at the bottom, it's going to be totally transparent. And it gives us the CSS code for it right here. So we'll come back and we'll copy this in a moment. I'm just going to take this particular line right here. But first, we need to go back to our little customizer here. We'll go back. We'll go back once more. Right at the bottom, we've got additional CSS. I like to give my CSS a little title up here. To do that, it's forward slash star star forward slash. Anything that you write within the two stars there will not be read as code. So let's add a little heading, makes it easier to find. I'll say fixed nav background, perhaps. Makes sense. Great. So we need to find out the fixed navigation class name. To do that, let's just roll down. We should be on the fixed navigation there. Right click on where the nav bar is. 
I'm using Google Chrome with the great inspector tool. So I'm hitting it's inspect. That brings our inspector tools up here. If you've got elements selected, you'll have HTML. If you've got style styles selected, you'll have CSS over here. If we look up here, as I'm rolling over, you can see it's highlighting things above there. We've got a class name here of ET fix header and you can see it's highlighting it while I'm hovering over it. So I'm going to double click on that. It's a class name because it says so. I'm going to copy it, control C. I'm going to drop down just below here. As it's a class name, all class names, when you write them in the CSS panel, need a dot or a period in front. There's the dot. Now I'm going to paste in the actual class name itself. Fantastic. Now I can open close some curly brackets. We need to give it that background gradient. So I'm going to say background, B-A-C-K-G-R-O-U-N-D, colon. Let's copy this bit of code here and see what happens. Like I said, I'm just taking the background linear gradient right here. Control C to copy again. Back to our customizer. Putting my cursor after that, I'm ignoring this message. It just flashed up because I hadn't put the rest of the line of code in here. I'm going to paste that in there. It's not actually doing it. I'm not seeing it up there. The reason I'm not seeing it up there is it's got to force the original color we had in there to change. So let's add important just after our 90 degrees there, after the round bracket at the end and before a little semicolon. I'm going to write exclamation and the word important. Let's publish this code. We'll get rid of our inspector here. Just going to click on the logo to reload this page. Now if I roll down, we've got our gradient in there. But it's not transparent at the bottom. It looks like it's white at the bottom, which is not going to work for me. So if we go back, and you find you've got this problem. That's in our fixed nav. Let's roll down again. Header and navigation, fixed nav, primary menu background color. Make sure that that's set to opaque and not the full white. That should fix this issue. Just pull it down. And I'll just click the link again to reload the page. Now, if I roll down, that's better. We've got our gradient in there. And we can see that nicely over our light sections as well as our dark sections. That's pretty much all there is to it. As usual, I'll put that bit of code down below for anybody that wants to copy and paste it. But it's always a good idea to write CSS code yourself. It's really easy and it will take your editing skills to the next level. So let's check it on another page here. Let's just refresh this page. Now when we're older, we've got a transparent header up there. Our little gradient's popping in about here. And it's going to look fine over both light and dark sections. And of course, colored sections and image backgrounds, it'll do the same thing. So I hope you've enjoyed this and found it useful. I hope that answers that question. Like I say, you can do this with JavaScript so that text changes, but it's pretty heavy duty. And like I say, this is an easy workaround that I've actually used on several sites and it works well for me. If you have enjoyed this today, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget, if you have any questions, pop them down below. I'll do my best to answer them for you or make a little demo video just like this one. So once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.